We're doing great. We're doing great. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Human One, and today we'll be playing some Firewatch for the first time. I'm really excited to jump into this game, so you know what? Let's just get into it. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? Your pretty sounds pretty creepy right off the bat, so I'm just gonna say, what's your major? You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology, call out. Was that a burden, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay, we love an elevator. Okay, we're in a garage. Let's load the gear. Let's go. Oh, okay. Here we go. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. I feel like this seems sad already to me. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh no, I have to choose between dogs! What do I do? You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket! You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Oh no! I Can we do both? Why isn't both an option? Let's do it. Let's leave it to chance. Alright. I rolled a 16. So, it's the shepherd. Here we go! Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. I think we did a good choice. I'm still gonna think about Bucket forever though. Okay, 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. Have they been together for a couple years now? I just say that would be pretty good, you know? It's non-committal, I think. You're saying, yeah. It kind of has one day implied. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Thorough, thoroughfare trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. No fireworks, everyone. You're in their country. Learn to live with theirs. Thoroughfare trail is not recommend for inexperienced hikers. So not me. I'm very... Oh, wait. That is me. I'm very inexperienced with hiking. Absolute awful person with hiking. Also, you know what? Here's the thing. Bears? Bears? Oh. Bears are super dangerous, but if they're so dangerous, why are they friend-shaped? Why do they look so huggable? It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. Oh, this is 1980. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, or you ignore her. I don't think I want to get mad at her because she's clearly like a little bit tipsy. So I might just ignore her until I cool down as a person, you know? You don't touch each other all night. Next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Oh, this is getting sad. Julia still- okay, 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. I think you pose and flex like He-Man. You look awesome. Oh, this is us. Two forks, fire, lookout. Spacebar to climb over obstructions. All right, let's go. Yep. So 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife? 
Uh, Mayhem runs away? May me... Oh no, move, fuck the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his god dang face in. We scare him away, we scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. But I don't think she's gonna agree to commute. That, that just seems like a way that doesn't seem realistic. And why is she only the one commuting? Maybe we'll move after. It's at least achy. Yeah, all right. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh dear. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, I can't move? Okay, uh, so picking up the journal is my only option. Mayhem's back! Oh my god, we didn't lose Mayhem. Okay. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought back by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. I might just, I, I wanna be there for her. I don't wanna put her in a full-time care facility. Okay, back in the woods. I feel like she would be safer in a long-term care facility. That's fair, yeah, I just, I don't wanna leave her alone and that, that breaks my heart, you know? Hello. Oh, dear, wait, come back. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. This is hard, okay, I'm putting I'll put a chair, just because I'm worried she might hurt herself. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I know, it will... Julia should have gone to the care. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard either way, but yeah, in the end, like, he is emotionally devastated and she's with her family now to take care of her. So it's, it's a tough situation no matter what. 
Turn on the power. Okay, easy steps, easy steps. Do that. Step one complete. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, it's us. What do we got? Stove. Cookbook. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, release left shift. Um, okay. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse People me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever Ooh. it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, reply? Okay, you, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home and can stand you. That seems a little mean right off the bat. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Oh no! <sighs> Fine. But I oh, have to choose real quick. Here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Day one. On our new job. Henry. Well. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Call, call when we're ready. All right. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Sunset. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. What? Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Confirm what Delilah's seeing. Ah! Are those fucking fireworks? West is that way. I need you to confirm. Yes. Do you see them? Yes. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. I you saw them. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Yes, okay. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. Oh, the on the way. code is 1234. 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Remember that. Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Oh, that's up ahead. Okay. So that's west. We gotta go west. I'm so bad at directions. This is gonna be nutty. <laughs> okay, we're going, we're going. We're on the right track. Gotta go this way more. This must be it. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, we got two, three, four. Nailed it. Oh, uh, copy information. Let's go. All right, map updated. Take this note. What does that say? Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Oh my. And then we've got a pine cone. Let's pick that up. A granola bar for later. Examine it. Cherry almond. Yeah, let's eat it. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. All right, let's get them. Let's get them, crew. Excuse me, Rock. Excuse me. I'm on a mission here. Mmm, delicious pine cone. Num, num, num. Rope hook. Okay, here we go. Shale slide. It's steep. Okay, and space bar. We're doing great. We're doing great. Oh no, oh no. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? 
No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Okay. Am I still going in the right way? I'm not sure where I'm to staring look. Staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay. Lake. Jonesy Lake. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. It's so nice. Look. Oh. Two pairs of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Oh, <gasps> what if they're naked? Naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, okay. And they decided oh, to have look, a campfire too. To have a campfire too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Clean up. Let's clean them. All right, let's report them. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Got it. For later? No. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Let's okay. Let's clean up a little bit. To the lake. Oh, that's a bra. I found uh, a bra. A, bra. <laughs> a nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Oh, there's right, another pair. There's a ooh. second set of panties. Yes. Oh, found them. I I found them I in the lake. Found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Just, with that. Just say underwear, right? I know you're lighting fireworks. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? No, bad. You're hiding in the bushes, spying on us. Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. We hiked all the way out here to get away from guys like you. Hey, just so you're aware, I kind of skated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? You did? Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid; it's illegal. It's true. Yeah. Why are teenagers like this? Wow, what assholes. Hey, that go okay? Okay, I guess I can't. Oh, they're gone. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Okay. Let's see. Thanks for going down there. So back to the lookout. Let's go. Okay, let's follow the river. In the woods where sad men like to be. This guy has been through a lot, okay? Let's keep running. So Angry teens. I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. I am. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not a big fine. deal. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. I think I went the wrong way, everyone. This is why I can't be in the woods. Uh-oh, nearby storm. Oh, here's another supply cache. Will I need it, you think? Let's get our supplies in now, you know? Copy information, just in case. Oh, there's a flashlight. I need that for later. Doesn't work. Amazing. Ah. Oh, oops. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's a cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. I should not be doing so... this. This is so stupid. So I say fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. This is I such a bad idea. Sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It looks like the path leads through <gasps> the cave. Oh. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. I'm spooked. 
I know this means nothing, but this is spooked. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. The keys. Okay. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Spooky! Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Okay. Oh, this one's so close to this home. This is now nighttime. Though. Oh, there's a f figure. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. There's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What? what is it? I need to go south. Outside. Come on. The whole I need to go thing. this way. <laughs> People come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh I my god, it. Delilah's ridiculous. Look, Delilah is ridiculous. Someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Uh I should not be allowed to go hiking. By myself. I'm just gonna keep going. Maybe I'm not supposed to go this far up either. Trail. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where did I go? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Come on, man! Just make it back home. Um. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going. There to the we bathroom. go. Okay. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, He's a good uh, climber. He's fit. Closer. I pee wherever I want as well. Okay. This is all the electricity so I've got? Generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. But what my hair you? dryer! Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with Frizzy. It's broken. Locks. I could never. Wait, was that here before? Let's let's take it with us. We might need it for later. Up and up and up. I know. I really made my guy do a whole workout at night after confronting some skinny dipping teenage girls. Oh oh. Someone broke in. Hey what? Uh oh. Just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Oh. <gasps> Motherfucker. Oh Holy no. Shit. Um. I'll let the forest service know what happened. Okay. Let's put the typewriter back. In anger. My stolen sheets! sheets are gone. They stole the sheets. sheets! That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. What can they do? What can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 0. Hawaii 5 0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh, the girls at the lake, probably. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some. But violent campers? Uh, Are you worried? I'm, I'm morning, worried. I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. Okay. And keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Do it. We won't get much, it's time for investigative if work. If else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Aw, rent that cupboard. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't feel safe. Uh, just tell me where to find a gun. <sighs> I don't well, feel I safe. Don't now. Yeah. You will. If you have any I suggestions for me, Delilah, now would be a good time. Oh, all right. Good morning. Day two. Hey, wake up. Okay. I'm up. I'm up. Here we go. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. <laughs> our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Oh, okay, okay. I don't really know why that would be the case. Uh, sh can I go I mean, fix it? We've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. And then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Oh dear. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight How to the north when you come out. We'll do. Thanks, Hank. Oh no, Henry. Yes, Henry. What? You don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. All right, onward. All right. <laughs> okay, we went this way, and then keep going down. 
What's this mysterious fog doing? It's actually cold out here. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. Boulder. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Talk about uh, mayhem. You know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend we had a lot of time dog, with dog mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name Shiny, is that? please don't He's cancel me. Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we uh, we walked out of the show. Communication and lines north of the cannon. On a trash can and it said, "Get go mayhem." This way. And, uh, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec. Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay. Uh. I don't think so. Why have you? What? Okay. Good. Uh, hey, your button no, is still I don't think down. No, I have any idea. Delilah, I can hear you. I'm absolutely sure. Okay, let's just listen. Would you? Am I going the right way? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Ah. Uh... Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And um, sorry, but but you said we you you owned him with someone. What? Uh, talk. Uh, ask about well, the call. Looks like I might have lost you. Oh, okay. Whoops. Could be down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need. Dang anything. it! It's timed. Yeah, I wonder how uh, I wonder how this guy's knees are. He's doing a lot of like physical activity and a lot of workout right now. This is a very strenuously demanding job. It really is. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Oh, oh, is that a line? That has to be it. All right, let's let's go check it out. Utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if oh, you can. Oh, okay. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, not that. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, uh, I'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay. Oh, block trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll okay. add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. He, he, I hope he gets paid enough for this job. It seems like there's a lot of stuff he's, he did not sign up for that he has to do. Okay, that looks like a climbable rock right there. Oh, beer can. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Coincidence? And everything. I Jeez, think not! Kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Okay. Oh, I see the issue. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Alright, inspect the communication line. We did this in record time. Honestly, record time. Oh, alright. Report okay, cut so wire. The wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Oh! Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't Rude. look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, Ooh, what if something happened? This is bad. This was going on. And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Yeah. And what? I... <sighs> I haven't thought that far ahead. They did an illegal. Sure. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell oh. out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find him. Thanks. But Let's I'm clear some beer cans while we're at it. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. Follow I'd the trail of beer cans. Back towards your tower and just keep an eye out okay. for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. They are big into Red Great. Eagle. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Bye. All right, so let's loop back around this way and look for clues. 
Why not just go behind them and go boo? I know. I feel like wrecking their tent seems like a very bad idea. All right, there's a blocked off trail. I feel tense. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. This game so far has been emotional. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see all of you in the next one. Okay, bye!